Hi kids. Well, here we are again, still, still sheltering in place. It's getting a little old, isn't it? I sure hope you were able to get outside when it was nice the other day. As for me, I've been watching the pelicans and the eagles as they fly across the lake and as they catch their lunch. They are so beautiful and so graceful. If we were going to meet tonight, we were going to, our topic was going to be forgiveness. Do you remember what we did last year for forgiveness? Remember, I wrote the word forgiveness, this time I just wrote forgive, on the board. And we brainstormed with each other ideas for words that started with each one of the letters that would help us understand what the word forgiveness meant. It was one of my most favorite times with you guys. You could try it at home with a parent now that you're sheltered in place. Today I'm going to read a devotional by my friend Jamie that's about the word forgiveness, about the thing of forgiveness, and it's called Trust Jesus. The verse that goes with it is from Matthew 6, 14 and 15. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. Whoa, this is a little scary. Forgiveness is serious business. I desperately need forgiveness. This scripture is clear that if I don't forgive others, I won't be forgiven. Sometimes when my heart is super hurt, it's hard to forgive. I know I have to forgive. I know I need to forgive. I know Jesus forgives me. I want to forgive and yet Sometimes I felt like forgiving is just impossible. I have asked God these questions more often than I care to admit. Don't you see what they did, God? And his answer is yes. Forgive them. Don't you know how wrong they are, God? And his answer is yes. Forgive them. Don't you care that they don't even care, God? And his answer is yes. Forgive them. Don't you see my broken heart, God? And his answer is, yes, I do. Forgive them anyway. It's always, yes, forgive them. But how? How, God? How do I forgive the unforgivable? The only way that I can think of to do this is to surrender it all to Jesus. Number one, I trust Jesus to help me forgive. Number two, I trust Jesus' grace that when I haven't completely forgiven, he isn't waiting to condemn or squish me. He is waiting for me to trust him, and he's waiting to help me to do the forgiving. Number three, I trust Jesus to handle the people who have hurt me. I trust that he will bring conviction, repentance, and any consequences that are needed. You notice I said he will bring them, not me. In short, I just plain trust Jesus. Let's pray. Father, please forgive me for not forgiving like I should. Please help me to forgive. I want to obey you. I know you aren't waiting to strike me down. I know you will help me because you will always help me to obey you. I surrender anything that's keeping me from trusting in you today. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to show you a picture of a person who was one of the best forgivers I ever knew, except for Jesus. This is my dad. And I learned at least a part of what I know about forgiving from him. He had nine brothers and sisters, and there was always someone to forgive, even when they were grown-ups. When there was a disagreement, he would usually be the one who would go and make things right with the other person because then they could forgive one another and the resentment wouldn't have a chance to grow. He was showing me by example how God wants me to live. He wasn't perfect by a long shot, but neither am I, but I learned a few things from him. So your challenge for the week is to think about who you need to forgive. If you want to, write it down in your journal. Then ask Jesus to help you do the forgiving. Remember, forgiveness doesn't mean allowing someone to hurt you over and over and over again. If this is going on, please go and talk to a safe adult about it. 
Forgiving is something that God wants us to do. It is something we do to clean up our insides. And we just might have to do it many times a day. But remember, we might need to be forgiven many times a day too. Thank Jesus for doing just that. Love you guys. Hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.